Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, so this video is a Russian almond nail and it's been done with like hard gel or builder gel, whatever way you want to call it. And when we were on our um, very first COVID-19 lockdown, um, I did a 21 day challenge and I uploaded a video for each day of the lockdown. And during the challenge, I decided I was going to do a Russian almond nail. I'd never done them before, so I thought I would go ahead and do them. And when I uploaded them, the lovely Julia asked me, did I do, could I do them with gel? So here goes. This is with the gel and it's a builder gel or sculpture gel. What They're called so many different names. Um, hard gel, builder gel, sculpture gel. Yeah, as it's the gels for strength. So you're not really going to get the strength from a gel polish. It would only be from a hard gel. So one of the things I did discover when I was doing this, so this is actually the second time that I've tried it with the gel. So the first time the gel doesn't actually adhere to the tip of the flexi finger. So what I discovered I had to do was to put a, a clear acrylic base on just on the tip area and then I was able to sculpt out um, with the clear. So what I'm doing is instead of going straight in with the opaque pink and the white, I'm actually doing a base layer of clear and we're going to try and pinch it in. So one of the downsides was working with opaque pinks, you know, like opaque uh, builder gels is sometimes because they're they're quite colorful the light doesn't penetrate the whole way through them and if you don't know that they're under cured because the top layer would have that tap tap cured sound until you go and file it and then it starts to squeeze out the sides so i thought it'd be better to do a clear base first pinch it shape it and then go in and do the reverse smile line um with the pink and then add the white So because I'm sculpting out this nail, um, whenever you're applying your form, you have to put your form up ever so slightly raised at the free edge. So remember when you were doing your um, your theory for doing nails um, and you learnt of what type of nails to look out for, you would have had your fan nails, your ski jump nails. Well, you want to apply that form so that it looks like a ski jump nail. So what I've done is I've applied my clear, I have pinched it and cured it ever so slightly with the little hand torch and then I'll do a full cure at the end. This, um, this gel's LED and it can flash cure for five seconds so it's great, you know, um, your gel will stay in place and it's not going to run it everywhere. So I'm just going to file the base, um, the clear base, just to give us the shape that we're looking for. So I'm starting at the side walls. I'm making sure they're really nice and straight. And when I come to the free edge, I'm holding my file at a 45 degree angle. So I would hold it as if I was doing a straight free edge and then I'm gonna tilt it backwards 45 degrees. And that is what's gonna give us the angled free edge. This is the opaque pink gel, and as you can see, it's very, very opaque. If I was just to completely load this all over the nail and put it into the lamp, it wouldn't cure. So I'm having to do it in stages. So I'm doing the um, reverse smile line first, then I'll go back in and I'll do an apex, but I'll, I'll take it right back to the cuticle, and then I'll go in with another bead and build up that apex. And that way we'll know that um, all the gels cured the whole way through.
and in between every layer I'm just flash curing it because I don't want the gel to keep moving on me so by flash curing it it means that I can um, build up the areas that I need. So just the same as if you were doing a reverse smile line with the acrylic, I'm taking my hand file and I'm just going in and just sharpening up that smile line. So whenever I go to put the white up against it, it's going to look nice and crisp. Just a quick wipe over with some alcohol um, before I put any more gel on. That way there'll be no dust to transfer to my pot. Um, so I'm using the Brill Bird Luxe White, which is a, a nice thick white gel. So when you place it on the nail, it's not going to run anywhere. It's like a sculpture gel. And I'm just literally pushing it up against that smile line and just brushing it down along the free edge. And then I'm not building it up to the same height as the um, the reverse smile line because I want to go in with some clear and just give it strength. I'm going ahead and I'm capping um, the nail in clear gel. The opaque pink is a sculpture gel and I don't really need to cap it. But the white gel, if I was to buff on it, I would probably buff through it. So just to protect the nail, um, I'm just going to cover the whole nail in clear.
So I have given the nail a full cure in my LED lamp for one minute and I've just removed the tacky layer and now I'm going to file and shape the nail. So again, it's making sure that our side walls are nice and straight, our lower arch is nice and straight and that I keep that 45 degree angle at the end because that's, that's the whole thing about the Russian almond, it's having that angle. So I'm just going to finish up with a non-wipe top coat and then we'll go on to the finished nail. So like I said, this is um, one of the, it's only the second time that I've done it with gel. So I'm sure I'm going to have to practice a good bit more. I can see a few flaws in it and, but I hope I'll give you an insight into how to do it with gel. And I am going to keep practicing it and maybe down the line I'll do another video with hard gel. So thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video. Take care. See you soon. Bye.